So Ooh. sometimes just because you smoke the police one day, that doesn't mean you won the battle. That just means they let you go that day. If they get your license plate, the make and model of your car, they're going to come back and they're going to get you at a later date and later time. And that's exactly what happened here. Arkansas State Police let a Dodge Challenger scat pack take off on them and smoke them. They got his license plate, make and model of the car. They pulled up on your boy when he was in downtown Arkansas about 2 a.m., set up a perimeter around his car, had about six, seven cops just chilling, waiting on your boy to come back to the car. He hops in the scat pack, takes off. The police light him up. You already know what happened after that. And on top of that, your boy had extradition warrants from Texas. They really wanted him bad. And when they really want you, they're going to get you. Just like they did your boy here. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? This is your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes it a house vlog. You know how it's going down. Come around. Let's get into it. I've got car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets. Anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So um, I've told you guys that when the police really want you, they're going to get you. Now, in some most situations, when it's just the traffic stop and you smoke them, they'll let you go. But if you got warrants, oh, they're not letting you go. You may have won that day, but you didn't win. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. All right, so boom. North Little Rock. North Little Rock police officers located a blue Dodge Challenger, which had fled from them. Officers wait for the driver to return. Police have set up a perimeter. They were waiting on your boy. So you know the audio kicks in. So this is the cop. They're downtown, just straight up chilling. Here comes your boy. Coming out the club, 2 a.m. Got a little tenderoni with him. Feeling good, probably a little lit. Thinking that he about to go home and get him a little bit. There's your boy right there. Hop in the Challenger. He taking his time. It's all good. I'm going to just let it play. Yep, as soon as he moves, police turn their lights on. Oh, it's on now. He pulls out, so does the police. They already got your boy set up. They light his ass up as soon as he pulls out. Look at this right here. Look at this part right here. That's a cop right there. Set him up. You got two on him already. They already got the spikes set up in uh, another direction. So we got two cops on him. Can I get a third cop? That's not me slowing down the footage. They're actually slowing it down themselves. There's the spikes right there. Boom. And we got three cops right here. He already went over the spikes. Three cops. It's a chase. Let's go. Four cops right there. Four. He just gives up. He already knows. They do the scat dirty. They do the scat dirty. One, two, three, four cops on the scene already. Five cops. I might have to blur this part because of the guns. Look at the tires flat. Look at the tires flat. Yanking your boy out. That is a scat too. Oh, they wanted him bad. They wanted him bad. Look at the scat. Flat tires and everything. Got a little cutie pie over here. Little cutie, she going to jail too. Don't worry. Let's 
see what he got hit with. Driver got hit with uh, felony fleeing, possessing controlled substance, meth slash cocaine. Uh, another one, possession of controlled substances, meth slash cocaine, and marijuana, improper window tent, no seatbelt. Oh, they hit him with everything. He also had four felony warrants. Four felony warrants out of Texas. He got caught in Arkansas, and he got caught with marijuana and meth slash cocaine. Let's see what else they do. They set your boy up. Look at him. They sitting there laughing about it. Look at him. He pounded it, showing each other love. That's a successful operation right there. Marijuana. Look what they did to the scat, bro. Did the scat dirty. Did the scat dirty. That's police pursuits, man. Shout out to police pursuits. So let's let's read what happened here. Um, the North Little Rock uh, Police Department was searching for a Blue Dodge Challenger in the downtown area. Officers advised the Blue Dodge Challenger had previously fled from them. See, he previously fled from them and was located near the intersection of Main Street and Fifth Street. Officers created a perimeter around the suspect, waiting for him to return to the vehicle. Uh, NLRPD attempted to conduct the traffic stop after the driver of the vehicle began traveling south. The vehicle failed to yield and a pursuit was called. At the intersection, uh, blah, 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 was successfully able to deploy the, uh, the stop stick, which is the spikes, uh, at the intersection, which caused the tire to deflate. Uh, the suspect vehicle turned blah, 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 became the primary unit. The speed reached in excess of 85 miles an hour with the suspect regarding red light. The driver later identified as blah, 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 blah. Show to have three nationwide extradition warrants out of the state of Texas, along with the felony warrant out of Saline County Sheriff's Office. A female passenger was also released um, uh, once the investigation was complete. Besides the four felony warrants, the, jar, the, driver, the driver was charged with, uh, as we talked about it earlier, felony fleeing, possession of meth, two counts, possession of marijuana, one count, improper, slash two dark window tent, and no seat belt. This right here is the proper example of when they want you, they are going to get you. Now, most cases, if this blue Dodge Challenger had taken off on them and smoked them, and he was just a regular you know, citizen with no warrants, and it was just a speeding traffic, uh, uh, speed, speeding traffic ticket, or uh, you know, uh, improper tent ticket. They probably would let him go, and it would have been what it is, right? But the fact that your boy had three warrants, or how many was that? Three warrants, four felony warrants, out of the state of Texas, and he had ran from them once before. They wanted his ass bad, real bad. They set up a perimeter. It was 2 a.m. downtown Little Rock, Arkansas, and they set up a perimeter on your boy. They didn't let your boy get over 20 miles an hour before they already threw the stop stick to blow his tires, bro. They did your boy dirty. Well, I guess he did himself dirty, to be honest with you. He had four warrants. But, I mean, when they want you, they will get you. So, a lot of you guys think that all you got to do is smoke the police and it's all good. It's not all good. If they really want you... They're going to get you, especially if they get your license plate and the make and model of your car. It's over. They don't even have to get the make and model. If they get the license plate, that's going to tell them everything they need to know. Address of where you're located, name, uh, date of birth, make and model of the car, all that stuff. They'll have all that stuff in the system, and it's just a matter of time. You're driving a blue Dodge Challenger scat pack, you stick out like a sore thumb, bro. 2 a.m. downtown Arkansas, they set your boy up real bad. But this right here just goes to show that just because you won the battle does not mean you won the war, right? Just because you smoked them on Friday doesn't mean that you're going to smoke them again on Monday. Doesn't work that way, my boy. They did your boy dirty, man. They put him down. Turkey special, Dodge Challenger spiked and pit. Shout out the police pursuits. Go check out the original video over there. But I mean, when you've got warrants and felony warrants at that, they will get you. In most scenarios, most situations, to my understanding, I'm not law enforcement, but to my understanding, when... It's just a simple speeding ticket or traffic violation, tent ticket, shit like that, little small stuff. They'll let you go for the most part, right? Unless they get your license plate. If they get your license plate, they may pull up on you later on. But if they can't get your license plate and it's just, oh, it's a blue challenger, I don't know anything about it, they'll probably let you go. 
But if you got warrants like your boy here, especially out-of-state warrants, extradition warrants, they want you bad. And they're going to put your ass behind bars one way or another. They set your boy up, and I mean, it worked to perfection. I mean, as soon as he turned the corner, they had the spikes on the ground waiting on your boy. It, the spikes were so bad, he just stopped. Like, you, I mean, at that point, you're not going anywhere, you know? It doesn't matter what your engine is. If you don't have tires, you're not going anywhere. And that's exactly what happened, man. So, I mean, this is what happens, man. If you got four warrants, man, they're going to take you down one way or another. So, beware. Just because you run from them and get away from them on Friday doesn't mean you're going to live to see Monday, man. As always, it's been your boy Knockout360. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.